it prompts me to say a little bit about what is remarkable about <laughs> this part of Cavell's interest in thinking is, as you mentioned, we don't have access to the content of thoughts. We have only symptoms of the body, uh, of what the bod how the bod body fidgets when the mind wanders. Um, and I think there are ways, of course, that cinema manifests thought through things like, you know, voiceover narration or um, dream sequences. I mean, cinema is a, is a great, I mean, this is what Batchel Lindsay was so interested in, among other things. I mean, it, it can give you dream states, interior states. But Cavell, and I think like Arendt, uh, though she doesn't put it in these phrases, is interested in a kind of phenomenology of thinking. What can be observed of a person while someone is thinking? And what are all of the errors of interpreting this, this, the, the gestures, these, uh, as you say, the, the kind of um, motor actions um, of, of the body? 